This is the specification of mini right flow new machine. This is the basic and fundamental dimension of this machine. Yeah. Hammer height, 1013 millimeter. The width of 300, 4 millimeter. And the length is 860 millimeter. We, yeah. we got the production capacity about 60 kilogram per hour or 1 kilogram per minute. The feeding size is 6 millimeter. The output size is 0 0.4. With the powder side, the raw material is the rice. Machine material is an alloy steel from safe, clean, and small key selling point. Yeah, we use the surface is meant for the rice is a pin mill. We got a model speed about 1000 RPM and three phase and three horsepower. We calculate all this dimension of model by this. We got to see the design concept. We got to, the first one is. We want to the right size, the six millimeter into the floor, the off small piece one, at the speed is one kilometer, off speed one kilogram per minute. With four main component, shaft, belt, bearing, and fastener. So firstly, we need to find the power source. We use the ball equation to compare our machine with another machine that exists in the real building machine. So we got the horsepower and we scale the cap for driving part and we can calculate that power transmission in the belt. After that, we can find the torque and force transmit to the main shaft. Yes, and calculate the first trial and error. We just have the safety factor of two. After that, thirdly, we further improve to reduce the size of the shaft for Economy factor mm -hmm. and minimize the power loss so we can get the most efficiency of our shaft. First of all, we decide the main component for power transmission. We decide the support infrastructure and bearing for durable and safe product so we can trust our product. In conclusion, we designed a mini ride for machine for three key factors, safety, cleanliness, and small size machine. And this is the calculation of the model. We use bond equation. E is the energy used, is the horsepower divided by mass flow rate. And the E also equal to EI 100 divided by L1. So the L1, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So L1 is the length of input material, and L2 is the output. Yes, M dot is mass flow rate, X is horsepower. So we compare with the durian gun radar, we have a L1 of 2 mm and the output is 0 0.4 to 2 mm and the mass flow rate is 97. We have the more mass flow rate than our machine. So we compare it by dy by E1 by E2 and we calculate for the X. X we got 2.5 horsepower, but in the real life it cannot have that horsepower for the model. So we select the Mitsubishi 3 horsepower motor. I, I show you all how to calculate off belt of calculation of belt. First we use the V belt section A775 and we can find the length the pit length of belt is the X07 millimeter by the table below the appendix before we calculate the center to center we choose the diameter of the motor pulley and the Diameter of the load pulley by this formation plus by this equation. Okay. Uh, therefore, we have the pulley of load at the diameter 100 mm and pulley of the motor at 50.4 mm. Therefore, we can calculate center to center this 10 this 10 C is from this equation and the center to center distance is 284.3 mm. And now we can calculate the number of bell works per bell by this equation. We define the head norm equal is about uh, 2200 to 2200 and KS 1.2 and ND for the study design is two and we can calculate the number of bell 
by this equation. Finally, the number of the bill are reused is the three right. And now factor of safety is the 2.51. You can see factor of safety more than factor of safety design. And we can use this bill for the safety. The contract angle from equation we can we can find the contact angle of the load is the 3.23 radian for the angle of load. Okay. So after we have calculated pulley uh, already, now we want to know uh, about what shaft should be designed, about the main shaft and about model shaft. Now we want to know the load of that attract the shaft. First is the calculation of the light. So I want to know the mass of the light. So mass of the light can uh, find by density of the light uh, product by the volume of full state, full space of the loader. That is the maximum mass of the light. So we give it calculation and multiply them. So we have the mass of light is 4.2528 kilogram. And then we solve the torque that we need in the main shaft and uh, RPM of it by use the centrifugal force uh, by uh, sigma f equal to m v square over r and we solve this equation and we give the mu n mu k from this table it is 0 0.1 0 0.1547 then we solve the equation and we give torque about 42.323 newton made and RPM is equal to 504.732. Then we find the load that acts on the pulley by the two axis about the y axis and x axis. So we calculate a uh, different force by transmission torque to uh, change to the force and we give the different force equal to x50 newton. Then we use a uh, rebuild calculation to find uh, force, force 1 and force 2 is equal to 1040 and 100. 90. Then we have all load. Now we calculation sharp to find the min minimum diameter that we need. What uh, what we should use a diameter of the sharp. So it have the load in the five point. Now C is a mass of the right. E is a transmission of the bell to the pulley. And D is the mass of the loader. This loader. A is the support bearing A and B is the support bearing B. Then we solve this and solve the it is in a static equation and uh, the order. SFD BMD diagram. Then we get. Then we give the maximum uh, moment and maximum torque in that point. This point. It is a maximum and it have a state concentration of it. The maximum moment is about sixty-eight thousand newton millimeter torque. Maximum equal to uh, forty-two thousand newton millimeter. Then we use Marlin factor endurance state. It about uh, two hundred fifty megapascal. And we have ultimate tensile strain of alloy steel is equal to uh, about uh, 700 megapascal. Then we solve this by modify Goodman and find the minimum diameter is equal to about 22.109 millimeter. So we should di diameter in the small shaft is 25 and the last, last diameter is 30 for the large, large shaft. After that, we um, write this shaft on the solid work and uh, evaluate mass property of it. So we have the we have the new force at the E is a mass mass of the pulley and F is the mass of the QA and and G is the uh, mass of the mass of the pulley plus uh, transmission force. It is a new uh, free body diagram that's added after using solid work. Then we saw SFD BMD to recheck it that safety factor is more than two or not. And we receive a uh, maximum moment is uh, around 72,000 mm and torque max around uh, 42,000 mm. And then we use Marlin factor by endurance test and use modified Goodman to find uh, safety factor. And we then we have safety factor allow 2.5 is more than 2 is practical yeah, that we def def define uh, in the first half. After that is uh, to recheck about sharp two that uh, safety factor is over two that we decide on. First, first thing we decide sharp two uh, is the model model sharp is half diameter equal to the main sharp is about twenty five millimeter. Then we evaluate it in the solid work and have the fault in the C is the mass of the sharp and D is mass of the pulley and transmission fault. And A is support by the pulley and B is support by the bearing. 
then we um, make the static equation and solve F FD, BMD, and we give the maximum moment is about 90,000 Newton millimeter and torque max is about 42 Newton Newton millimeter and use Malin factor again to find the endurance strain and solve five safety factor by modify Goodman and we have uh, design factor is equal to 3.73x is more than 2 is okay is technical in the model shop this is the thing that we have to decide to minimize the sharp uh, what is the minimum sharp that we should uh, use in the in this machine and recheck again that is design factor over 2 or not so in my part I will present about analysis state and evaluate safety factor occur on fatina set about the upper bow we consider the maximum force of center of mass of silo. The maximum force caused by weight of light and silo. Weight of light about 387 newton and silo 59 newton. Total weight about 447 newton occur at center of mass, which is further away from the pivot point about 100 mm. So we can calculate the force act on bow about 248 newton per bow. We should still bow M10 x 1.5 for another detail is according from the table. This picture is the bow we are designed as you can see from the skin RMI calculations. The result of safety factor is according from the screen safety factor of U is 1.33 and safety factor of fatigue is 30.52. The next about lower bow, analyzing process similar to the upper bow. So we can calculate the force act on bow about 1199.98 Newton per bow. We should still bow M10 X 1.5 for other detail is according from the table. This picture is the ball we are designed. As you can see from the screen, are my corporations. The result of safety factor is according from the screen. Safety factor of U is 1.32 and safety factor of fatigue is 6.52. The next step, calculation of the bearing. First step, you, you, can, uh, you can find the radio, radio force for bearing A, bearing B, bearing C. Uh, we, we, we selected uh, bearing A, bearing C, bearing B, bearing C, the same size. Uh, so we selected the critical load of bearing uh, for the safety factor for F, uh, bearing A. Uh, it has C10 uh, 182 Newton uh, for, the mis for, the, for the static safety factor is a approximate for 456 times. Uh, uh, safety by the, uh, by the C10 uh, in, in bearing B is a uh, 750 approximate 750 Newton for the static safety factors is a uh, uh, 11, uh, approximate 11 time in, in bearing uh, for the static safety factor in bearing C is a uh, 8.6 times uh, for, for the maximum particle hour of bearing 67,000 hours. Uh, choose the, uh, this out, uh, choose the bearing diameter 25 meter millimeter. It has a C10 22 dot. 9 kN it has the minimum C10 in catalog. Bearing can be rotated more than the actual load due to the fixed size of the bearing from the shaft. Component is overall of mini rise for new machine. It consists about silo, shaft, pin mill structure, motor, pulley, belt, and bearing. It has the most complex thing inside here. First, start about Mini rise for new machine. The fundamental things. The dimension is the height is 1013 and the width is 304. 
millimeter and the length is 860 yes this is the dimension of 3d dimensional figure next one is the dough roller next one is the roller dimension so the main dimension the main diameter is 300 millimeter the thickness is 10 millimeter and the thickness of blade is about 100 millimeter and it has the small blade that is a rectangular one consists of 15 millimeter times 15 millimeter and it have three circles of radius so this is a 3d dimensional of red component yes this is the bearing dimensional from skf bearing commercial is a technical specification and yeah we got to see it clearly so the small diameter here is 25 millimeter the big one is 62 millimeter and the thing is 17 millimeter this is the another dimension of the bearing yes yeah this is the sharp dimension it have a this have a small diameter of 25 millimeter and the big one is 30 millimeter at the center of the shaft yeah and it have a length about 468 yeah we cut it two sides left and right yeah this is the smaller one smaller shaft it have a the length of 350 millimeter and the diameter of 25 millimeter this is the pulley dimension they have diameter of 100 millimeter they have a 8 millimeter for holes and have a 10 millimeter for the the middle hole this is the size dimensional of the pulley it have the width of 20 millimeter per belt and have a three belt each belt have a 40 of degree angular contact this is the silo dimension we have the width the maximum width is 300 we have the maximum length is 804 millimeter and we have the height of 205 millimeter